So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create YouTube branding kits in order to sell them on Fiverr and on Etsy. I'm gonna share that all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I do everything from how-to videos and step-by-step -step guides, teach you exactly how to create your own products online. And so if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And at any time in today's video, you can value, let me know by hitting a like on today's video. But as always, my friends, I wanna share with you exactly how to create these branding kits because this is one of the ways you can make money passively online. And one of the main places I use to create products just like this is by using Placeit. I wanna share with you how to use that right now. So we are back in the Placeit app today. If you guys are new to Placeit, I have done two other videos teaching you exactly how to create print on demand t-shirts by creating unique designs and also using real mockups to actually list your designs on Etsy. But today I'm gonna teach you exactly how to create these YouTube branding kits. These YouTube branding kits are selling all over Etsy in different platforms like Fiverr. And I wanna share with you how you can use Placeit to actually create these and sell these on your own. So I wanna share that with you right now let's check out the place it link down in my description box below and go ahead and sign up they were so kind enough to give my audience a discount code so it can be easier for you to begin your online journey so the first thing you want to make sure you do is head over to place it and go over to the gaming area now place it is very popular for those who are live streaming games and doing all type of things on twitch and they also have the bottom portion dedicated to youtube and this is where we're going to spend majority of our time today creating those youtube branding kits and so as you can see they already laid out four major things that really encompasses what a youtube branding kit is all about right the intros the outros the youtube banner the youtube ending cards and also the youtube thumbnail so i'm gonna walk you through how you can use all four of these to create a YouTube branding kit. So let's start off with intros. Now, one thing that I really enjoy about using Placeit is that they have so many different templates you can really use to create these YouTube branding kits. And as you can see, we are just in the YouTube intros and they have so many different types you can use. So there's a couple of things I want us to see before we even get started. If you look at the left-hand side of the screen, this is where you are able to filter through all of the different type of templates and designs or maybe styles where you are able to create these YouTube branding kits. And so instead of you going all the way to the bottom and going scrolling through page through page through page, think about what is your overall niche, think about your audience, think about your style, think about your design, and you are able to filter through all these things just by going over and selecting a specific one. So you can go down and scroll and see which one you actually want for your particular branding kit or what type of branding kit you want to sell. But for my case today, I want to pick something simple just like this and to share with you how to create this as your own. So Placeit has already showed us the preview design of our template. And so we want to go in and change the logo as well as that bottom portion there. And there's a couple of things you can do to make this really stand out. The first thing is you want to scroll over and see what does the text look like in regards to the little your website at the bottom. And you are able to change this over on the left hand side and again all these things are what you are able to put in for the customer so this is more so you personalizing every single order to fit what the customer needs and so again you can actually put in the person's channel name or maybe put in something like subscribe to my channel so what's pretty cool about places that you are actually able to upload a particular image to use as your icon or your logo and actually add that to the video and i have one of my images i want to use as it is the fixed point crew and as you can see i have the option to go ahead and crop the image and whatever is in this little box here is what's going to show up in the video so i don't want my logo to be small because obviously it's going to be small when the video actually processes i want to make sure this is large as possible that's fitting into my box but if it is too large i can always go back in here and change it now i can also move this around if i want this to be up a little bit or down a little bit further but I think having it in the middle is going to do very well for this particular design. Go ahead and hit crop and it will actually input that into the overall video. Now, Placeit also allows you to add audio. That means you are able to select 
an audio track if you want to have that be merged into the video but because we're going to use our own personal track or maybe the track of our client then i'm not going to necessarily add an audio piece but if i wanted to they have so many different music files audio files you can use to actually add to your intro now i can also change the background of this particular image as you can see it's white i can change it to a different color if i want to but i think for this particular logo white stands out well so remember our video had the little particles flying around that were blue I can actually go in here and change those colors if I want those things to fit more so my brand. And since my brand is the black and the orange, I want to go in here and pick an orange type color as those little particles are floating around. And as you can see, everything is truly customizable in regards to creating these intros for YouTube. And as you can see, this really didn't take us any time, right? We changed the bottom, subscribe to my channel. We added our logo in, we changed the particles. And again, all the hard work, all that processing work is done by Place It itself. And this is how you are able to make a lot of money by selling these intros with your YouTube branding kits. So I want to detach the audio and go ahead and hit play all. And when I hit play all, the video is being processed with all the changes that I made so I can see the ending result. So as you can see, this is our entire intro playing here. And as you can see, our logo we added in, the bottom subscribe to my channel is there and it's looking really good. I can go back and play this again. And again, any changes I want to make, I can go in here and make those changes in real time. And then I'm able to see this as a playback if this fit to my overall style. And I think what we have here is a really good intro video to add to our YouTube branding kit. So if your YouTube intro was set to go, then you will go ahead and hit download. And again, that will download to your overall profile you have on Placeit. Then you were able to download that to your computer. So every time I hit download, it is first saving it to my overall profile that I have on Placeit. And then I'm able to download that to whatever hard drive I am currently using. And I like this because it doesn't matter if my PC breaks or maybe I upgrade to a different computer. I always have my hard work, all of my templates, all of my branding kits I have created. They will always be on the Placeit website for me to go back and use. So the next thing that we're going to do for our YouTube branding kit is go in here and create a YouTube banner. So again, we're going to go back to gaming, go all the way down to YouTube and go over to YouTube banner. And again, the same thing like we saw in our YouTube intros, we will see different type of banners we can use for our overall design. And again, we want to find something that's more so geared towards our overall niche. And so we're going to go ahead and pick social media because we know that we're creating these things possibly for YouTube influencers and people who want to have a presence known on social media. But again, I want to find something that goes with my overall knit. And so we have several things that we can work with in regards to place it and how we are able to really make this our own. A couple of things I want us to see before we even jump in is that we are able to change any type of text here on the left hand side and any type of colors regarding to our text or maybe some images we want to use here. We can change all those things as well. So the first thing I want to do is to change this to fit my overall branding kit. So I want to do that now. So I'm going to go in here and change this to fixed point. And I want to change the second one here, the challenge to crew. And so that looks pretty good as it is. If I want to change this bottom tag here, I can. So here is our overall design that we have. If I want to go in here and change the font for each of these words, I can go ahead and do that here on the left hand side. Again, I can change the colors if I want to change the colors to this overall font or I can go in here and change the font itself so i have my little subscribe button here say if i don't want that if i just, just want that to be gone instead of deleting it i can actually close the eye here where this is no longer going to be visible and so i have a little image here also say if i want to change that image to something else i have a down arrow but say if i want to do something in regards to my niche and again my niche is all about how to create uh products that, that you can make online money and passive income i can go ahead and tap in money Again, change this to fit my overall brand. And this is something I think looks pretty good. And I have my logo changed there. I can also change the outline of my YouTube banner. If I don't want the lines here, I can take that out. But let's say if I want to add something a little different here, like some paint marks, I can click this. So really, this is up to your creative design. Again, we're only working from one template. But if you can see that place, it has ton of templates you can use and recreate at your own leisure. But again, I'm just showing you this as an example. 
if I want to change the background image here and upload my own background image, I can click this button and upload it here. But for today's example, I want to go ahead and utilize an image place it already has. As I did with my element here, I can go in to the image area and search up a particular image I think will be good for my overall design. The same thing we did with the YouTube intro. I'm going to go ahead and hit the download button so it can save to my overall profile and then download it to my computer. So next thing we're going to talk about is the YouTube end cards. This is where people are able to click on additional videos at the end of a particular video they have watched on YouTube. So this is very important for influencers like YouTubers to get more clicks and more subscribers and more people viewing their overall channel. And again, place it has a ton of different templates you can use that really stands out. And so again, I always say go over to the left hand side and pick something that is in your niche. But again, they have a lot of options already here. And so for today's example, I want to go ahead and pick one and share with you how you can change those things as well so we're going to go ahead and change this to fit our overall brand we know that our brand is orange black and white so we can go in here and change those colors on the left hand side so say if i want to go ahead and change the color i go in here and click the color tab and pick the color orange and as you can see all of these elements at the bottom these icons here all change based upon what color i picked here i can also change the inner glow of the profile picture in the video frame if i want this to highlight a little bit more i can pick a certain pinkish color which looks very well when a video is laid behind it but if i want to stay on brand i can always go in here and click my color now again if you want to see additional colors you can always go ahead and click more and again you have the whole color wheel here and if you have a specific color brand you can actually put that number in here now, same thing like we did with our YouTube intro and as well as our YouTube banner, I can go ahead and change any of these features here, like the background graphic. I can change it to something that looks like this, or maybe if I want to have little bubbles around, or maybe if I want to have little diamonds or circles on the side, all these things I am able to change in real time to see what fits and works well. Again, I can go in here and add an image myself, or if I just want a clean background, I can go in here and click no image but I think having something up here will allow my overall ending scene to look well so we're gonna go ahead and download this like we did with all of the other ones that we talked about and we're gonna add this to our YouTube branding kit now the last one that we're gonna talk about is probably the main one where a lot of YouTube influencers really want most of their time spent and it is with the YouTube thumbnails so we want to pick something that sticks to our overall brand and really helps us communicate each video our client is trying to do so again if i want to change the background image i can go ahead and click one here that's fitting my overall niche again any text i want to change will be over here on the left hand side and again as you can see place it fits all of our fonts in the right space at the right size so that we don't have to do more work than what is intended again i can go in here and change the background color if needed as always i want to make sure that i'm staying on brand and again if i want to add additional images here from my own personal computers or maybe even add a graphic that i don't see i can go in here and actually search up a graphic and again this is just an example of what you can do here so as you can see you can do everything needed in a branding kit the youtube outros and intros the youtube banners as well as the end pages here you can do so many things and place it to create these branding kits that you can start selling online today. So that is the end of today's video, my friends. That was anyway helpful or encouraging. Let me know by leaving a like on today's video. Also, check out my other helpful tips and links in my description box below. If you are ready to get started making these branding kits, you can start selling right now. So as always, my friends, if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. But as always, my friends, I will see you in the next video.